almost. That night, when they played the slow air, reached through the Casimir tin curtain to rescue the ancient tunes from oblivion, hauled them out and paid due respect to keep the pilot light from quenching in the gale of indifference on the empty streets, some of us, too busy running from our past, were forced to take a solitary glance back. Who could have known as they summoned them, the masters, that they would work the old magic? The music took control. For a while, all seemed normal. But as the smoke thickened, shapes became figures, walked in single file from the bonfire, sat among us. People made way for Carolyn, Bunting, Caulfield, Kearney, McFadden, Shannon, Kane and others. Composers, collectors, fiddlers, pipers, harpers, ragged, bent, barefooted, daring to look up. It was time now for the reels, the songs, the musicians could feel the weight, the crowd for once were silent, stunned. Then it was time for jigs and hornpipes, they played into the night, nobody left, another slow air flung the door open, wider this time into their world. The banks of the Moy, it was called. Something happened at that crossroads. We were taken away to another place, the majestic bends where shy salmon leap, Nathan gazing down over its ancient domain, Con, Cara and Mask gleaming shards of sunlight, the sweep of the river past round towers, abbeys, the big hill throwing a long shadow over Kilchema, the graveyard in Achamore silhouetted against the sky, the foam from the blowholes at John Patrick Head, reeks of turf piled high into a Henry sky, and further, the thunder of the ocean in the cove on Clare Island, men with ropey veins rowing a boat to Inish Turk, mountain sheep with torn wool running wild, Bleached hills ignited by evening sunshine. Schlievemoor rising up from the bog at Ballycroy. The current dragging stones at Bullsmouth. The meanders of untamed rivers near Bangor. Eris hanging on to Balmullet like a seahorse. The Atlantic throwing weather beyond Inishglora. Shipwrecked memories flung ashore in a storm. Laments washed up to the whine of the wind. Old wounds laid bare to bind us, pure notes distilled from emigrant tears. Through the mist a figure calling us to finally take our place, our music still pure, unaffected, authentic, without measurement, who we are, soft as summer rain, unconditional, as if it wasn't stardust, almost lost like the way we immigrate, without fuss, our little towns quietly hemorrhaging, empty now like a drive through museum. The figures slowly disappearing, whispering, this is where composers dredge for symphonies, where andantes hold hands with slow airs. When the dawn arrived, bonfires quenched, they got up, nodded and smiled, almost spoke. An impression on the rushes where they sat. The birds sang louder that bright new morning. We too were different, never the same again. As the sun spread its sparkling mantle over the lonely bogs and plains of Mayo, we knew now what had to be done.